Use these three plays to complement that gun white trips weak formation from last time. Coming up next. Hey, this is Full Game Prometheus, the only YouTube that actually shows you full games of all the tips and schemes I post on my channel. I'll show you the good, the bad, and the ugly. All right, so guys, if you're new to my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button and also that notific notification icon so you can never miss an upload. All right, so guys, it's going to be part two of a, of a two-part series out of the gun, out of the Cardinals playbook. We're going to be uh, previously I showed you a few plays out of the Gun Y Trips Week, uh, and we're going to go and jump into another formation, which is going to be the Gun. Y trio week. Uh, what's cool about these two plays is that you can quickly audible into either one of these two and they provide you a little bit more flexibility with this play. Now uh, with the audibles we're going to go ahead and take our top audible which is going to be the, the um, uh, square button and actually turn that into curl tight end wheel and then the other play we're going to go ahead and take out is we're going to we're going to remove verticals and we're going to pop in a different play which is going to be the, uh, the double post sh uh, the double post. And we're still going to leave the play action post uh, dig shot inside zone is our other base plays. All right, so basically with man blitzer, uh, we've got these these different plays right here. Uh, double post shot is really not a good play to go and use against any guy who does a lot, uh, does a lot aggressive man blitzing. Um, and the pl play action post dig shot is not really going to be a great play to, to go and jump into either because it takes a long time for those plays to develop. But uh, curl tight end wheel should be an area that should be pretty easy to attack. You've got two curl routes which actually should uh, be able to go and get easy completions against your opponent unless he's pressing a lot. So uh, we also got the little wheel route right here. We got this route that you can go and drop down to and actually pick up some pretty easy completions. So that was a very aggressive man blitz. Um, the play action, the, the, the double post, really is doesn't have real good plays. Uh, the only play I could probably say is going to get uh, fairly uh, quick outside is going to be this this tight end route. Uh, the, he should get some pretty good separation depending on who's manned up underneath him. Uh, so I, I would not recommend actually going and jumping into that route. Uh, that route right there actually gets a little good separation, which is going to be the curl tight end. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and jump back into this. Now the running back route actually gets some pretty cool separation and you might be able to go and attack your opponent with that if you don't have an, a fast enough defender but once again man coverage is play a little bit funny and you can get yourself picked off if you're not ready for it so let's go and see right here so you can see how the defender can get in position to go and attack that so you probably want to use a more consistent route uh, to to attack your opponent and, and, and this route it's going to be that tight end route because he gets really good separation and you're going to attack your opponent in the flat against any kind of heavy man blitzers now pl uh, the play action uh, post dig shot, uh, you're going to be, uh, you want to drag up that, that tight end. You've also got this crossing route over there, right there, so the quarterback gets a little bit half your feet and actually does not deliver the ball. Uh, but it's not going to be, um, you know, uh, one of those plays that you're going to get uh, consistent pressure on there. So you, that's that's the problem with that play action post shot is that these routes take a little time. You've got crossing routes that are going to be going uh, over uh, yellow zones, and you can get yourself in some trouble right there. So if you've got an inexperienced quarterback or a rookie quarterback, you're playing regs, this is probably not a play that you want to jump into. Now what about cover two? Well, uh, this particular play, which is going to be that uh, curl tight end flat, uh, it's not really a great uh, play to go ahead and use uh, against cover two. Now, uh, this route actually will get some separation, which is going to be the slant route, but that's actually, you're floating around into, into a user zone, and you can definitely get yourself in some trouble with that if you got a guy that actually takes that out. So this is, this is probably a play that you probably don't want to use too much against cover two because you can get yourself in trouble. So you can see right there, I'm actually throwing right into the middle of the field, and that's not really a good thing to do when you got a guy that's spamming a lot of cover two against you. Now the next play we're going to take a look at is going to be uh, a doubles post. Uh, and what's what's cool about this play is this: you've got these two post routes. You've got the, the red post route that's going to be pulling uh, the defender out of his zone, and you're going to have uh, basically a look at Grisham, uh, Grisham and Kirk uh, is going to be the area. So if the guy carries, that area of the field is actually should get open where you can get a nice little completion. So if I stop getting a quarterback spraying the ball right now, that actually will help. Get that so check down actually to the tight end right there because the defenders actually carried uh, with him because it was a, uh, a soft squat. The key to this route is if you do a nice little back pass lead, 
you can actually go get a nice 20 yard, 20, uh, 25 yard completion down the field. Now the backhand side really is not much anything you could do. You might be able to drop this down, but I'm really looking for that big seam route because against cover two, you're going to be able to beat your opponent for some big yards. Now the last play we're going to take a look at is going to be play action um, post shot. We're going to go and drag up our tight end to give us a little check down. And what's cool about this particular play is that now you've got a way to attack your opponent in the middle of the field on the back end side with that with that uh, uh, route on the back end side. So if he starts floating over to the right uh, with with the uh, the double post, now you've got a post route on the back end side you can attack your uh, your opponent with. And of course, you can always check it down to uh, the tight end if that's available to you. The crossing route. Um, is um, and a route that you can wait for too, but uh, unfortunately, I, my offensive line is not going to be able to hold its blocks for this to, sh to show this this route to you. So I've got to get rid of the ball a little bit quicker and make a, make a more deliberate reads uh, with this offensive line. So it's just because I wanted to go ahead and use uh, the Cardinals, but you can see right here, nice big opportunity to pick up a big play right there with Fitzgerald. All right, so what about a cover three spammer? Uh, once we're, we're going to look to the flat, and you can see he actually goes ahead, and the animation brought him up a little bit. The ball's behind him, but if he was throwing um, on spot, uh, basically that would be uh, a fairly easy completion. Now, if the defender actually bites down uh, against a cover three guy, you can actually hit that curl route because the other defenders are not going to be there. So what's cool about this figure play is that this is really good against anybody who likes to run a lot of cover three because you're going to be able to get fairly easy completion. So why the quarterback keeps spraying the ball, I don't know. I'm not doing any kind of pass lead. I'm just making some fairly easy, fast reads. Uh, but right there, as you can see, the ball actually was a little bit low on that right-hand side. Uh, the route over the middle is just the route over the middle. Back inside, too, um, once again, same type of situation uh, with the tight end. You've got um, a curl flat concept with a running back on the back inside. Uh, so the curl, the curl route right there is going to get you some pretty easy completions. So what's cool about it is cover three, you can pop either area of the field with uh, against your opponent. Double post, um, this once again is going to be similar kind of concepts. What's cool about this this route is look, look at the depth of this running back route um, that you can pop your opponent with and catch him off guard with the double post. This running back route gets out 10 yards deep and actually comes back to the ball. So he's getting out to the flat, but he's actually going really deep out to the flat. That's what I like about this. This is one of the reasons why I had to put keep this play in the scheme uh, is because of that. Now, uh, the post route right here, I actually threw that the, the quarterback just took off the ball. I, I know I should probably be practicing with a different quarterback, um, but I wanted to go ahead and just uh, accentuate this. Uh, but you can see right here, I did a, bass, a back pass lead, and I can actually get that deep post. So uh, really, it's about establishing the flats against our opponent uh, with this figure to play. You got that little check down route with the running back. You can check down to that to get an easy completion. Um, and uh, utilizing the curl, um, uh, the curl tight end wheel, that can really be uh, annoying for your opponent to stop that. Now the final play we're going to take a look at is be at the play action post shot dig. Um, why I like using the dig concept is that it gives you another check down over the middle if your opponent starts chasing the big play opportunity. Uh, but, but you've got this uh, the little check down with the tight end. So I was dealing with some block shit right there. I had to get rid of the ball faster. I was not given the time to actually let that, that deep crossing route develop for me. But this is where you can get some big plays. And this is where you want to have that dig route on the back inside. So there's some play action post shots. Uh, but the reason why you, you want to have that dig is that, that, it, that it allows you a lot of people will manually go and take away this this deep play route. This is going to be the route that most people would do. So if you've got the dig on the back end side, he can't be in two areas at one at one time. So you can go and pop that down and turn that up for some pretty good yards. So that's why I do like having close the post shot uh, dig. Well, what if you run against someone who runs a lot of cover four? Well, you've got these uh, curl routes once again. They're going to get pretty good separation against your computer. Go ahead and pop that. The wheel route should get pretty good separation, but you're going to get a lot of man matching uh, against the CPU. But you just go and pop those those core routes against someone who runs a lot of cover four. I probably you probably were not going to see a lot of cover four uh, against these type of formations, but they can be something that you can, you can go ahead and pop your opponent. So right there was actually a real tight window. What about uh, the post uh, the uh, post double post type play? Uh, once again, you get a little check down that you could pop, uh, and this guy generally will get pretty good separation against uh, against the CPU just because of the way the route works. It's kind of glitchy. 
and you've also got that little route by the tight end which you get pretty good separation what's cool about it too is that it gets a lot of depth too so that's a good play to go jump into if a guy's running a lot of cover six against you uh, the deep posts, uh, I probably don't think you're going to be able to get some pretty good uh, good plays against uh, against that. So uh, you probably need to look to the flats against the cover two guy uh, uh, or against the cover four guy in this type of shell because these post routes are not going to get the separation that you want. Uh, so you probably need to go and settle down from the flats. And uh, play action post shot dig. Once again, we're going to go and drag up our, our tight end. Let's try not to get any blocks yet, but this is where you're going to get those big opportunities against someone who runs cover six. It's the big crossing route right there. So we have plenty of blocking time, uh, time to be able to get rid of the ball. So uh, this is one of the plays that, you know, Madden players have been using this for a long ass time. And it's very, very effective against someone who does a lot of matching type concepts. So once again, guys, if you do like these type of tips, make sure you smash that like button. Uh, and if you want, uh, uh, formations built out to you to any particular playbook and you want to try to stay away from like meta type plays you want some different types of formations that are not getting currently used right now go to my patreon account I'll actually build up the scheme so this is basically two uh, two different uh, playbooks that I can interchange into fairly quickly uh, for one of my patrons so once again thank you for your support guys and until next time